Hey everybody, episode four of If I Were. We're literally gonna pick a card here and see what topic is up next. So let's pull one out here. Um, I'm gonna look. This one, Bryson? There's two. This one? Yeah. Okay. All right, so for episode four, we have If I Were a volunteer group traveling abroad uh, or doing some type of service learning uh, and looking for marketing and fundraising efforts for future initiatives, what would you do? All right, so here is what I would do. I'm actually gonna harness this in, in the same way I approach storytelling is before, during, and after your trip. Um, for this sake, let's say it's your first year, you have probably limited funding, whether you're coming from a church group, uh, a student affairs, service learning group, or maybe it's Peace Corps, something like that. Um, you're coming from your very first year, so before. I would, you're gonna be seeking some type of sponsors, whether it's $250 here, $1,000 here, $5,000, whatever it might be. Um, every sponsor, especially the bigger you go, whether it's a Whole Foods or a Target, uh, some type of large franchise, they're gonna wanna be able to showcase that they're doing something good for their community or for the world. So I would actually position it and look at what influencers and other pieces of branded content do. And so instead of traditionally saying, hey, we'll put you on a t-shirt, which you can still do, or we're gonna put you in our little pamphlet or something like that, that's awesome. I would actually say, hey, we are gonna be documenting this trip, and if you give us a banner, we will actually uh, take a huge group photo when we're over in Africa or we're down in Alabama for Habitat for Humanity and post that all over Facebook. Uh, we'll actually have our university relations share this in their press release. Uh, maybe another thing is we will uh, do Instagram stories and we will mention you three times, five times if you give us you know, double the amount of fundraising, whatever it might be. Um, or you'll have certain students mention your brand or franchise or company uh, within the trip. So I would figure out ways that you can actually tell the story of that this trip was sponsored by X company through your device. During the trip, when you're recruiting for students or, or members going on this trip, I would identify two people that are somewhat tech savvy or can be really good in front of the camera. And whether it's an iPhone or literally spending another three, four, five hundred dollars on a used point and shoot. So Canon G7X, a Panasonic, a Sony A6300, 6500, all these can be had for use under five hundred dollars around there. Uh, all of them that shoot HD. Bring that point and shoot with you and make these two people the sole responsibility for making sure that something is being documented every single day of the trip. Um, some things that you could do. So let's say you're going away for 10 days. 24 hours a day, that's 240 hours of possible content. Uh, let's be realistic though, you're probably gonna be up for 12 of those hours, maybe a little bit longer some days, or some, some days less. Uh, so you have about 12 hours per day to get content. Now I'm not saying you need to record all 12 hours every single day, but some things that I would do is, I would, if you have 10 people on your trip, I would pick those 10 days you're away that each person gets the camera and they get to document from morning to night uh, and so you get you know, Sally's perspective, Bryson's perspective, uh, Jess's perspective, you get all these different perspectives of what they're doing and, and how they're making an impact in the community that they're, they're volunteering in. Um, the second thing I would do is those two people, uh, maybe if they don't have the camera, they're helping out those people with the point and shoot, but at the same time they're doing the Instagram stories, they're taking the group picture, basically that, their, their device or those two people are, are in charge of the documentation part. This goes to the after piece. So the reason I say like potentially 120 hours of documenting is when you come home, you wanna make a bunch of different videos, recruiting new people to go on your trip, recruiting new staff, faculty or community members to chaperone the trip. Obviously to get more fundraiser, uh, fundraisers and more companies and organizations involved to help fund the following years. Here's something I would do. Going back to before is I would sit down with everybody, uh, possibly in the airport or on the bus and ask all 10 of them, hey, what are, you, what are you looking to get out of this trip? Literally frame them up, ask them one question, what are you looking to get out of the trip? They'll give you their answer, it might be a 30 second sound bite or a 90 second sound bite. And then the last day of the trip, don't do this when you all get home, do this literally like when you're driving back or flying back, I would have them all sit down and be like, hey, this is what you thought you were gonna get out of the trip, what did you actually get out of the trip? Or what does this experience mean to you? Or what would you tell people that didn't uh, apply to go on this trip, what would you tell them? So you have another two to three minutes of content from each person. So now you could literally mix and match all this content from 
you know, what did this service trip mean from you? You have four answers or four, four interviews there. Uh, you could then showcase what you did with the, with the sponsors and showcase what you can do with more sponsorship next year. Um, you can then make a video for recruitment. There's so many things you can do. And obviously I'm harnessing video, but don't forget to take pictures as well. But before, during, and after, those are the three things I would do, but literally look at what time you have available to document and who can do it really well and just basically show the experience of the trip. Uh, so that's what I would do to help create more awareness, more fundraising, and I guarantee all that content you do, university relations might pick it up, uh, your church group might pick it up, your local town paper might pick it up, somebody's gonna pick it up and wanna share that video, uh, or somebody, a friend of a family member might see their kid went on this trip and they share it, and then the next person says, hey, I'll, I'll donate $500 next year. So that's what I would do if I were a volunteer group willing to travel abroad and bring on some more marketing or awareness for fundraising. Hope that helps. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week.